Tim, we talked about the defensive end for Texas Tech, but they got some guys that can go get it on the offensive end. And one of those guys is my man number zero in red, Matt McClung. What do you love about this kid's game? Well, that he lived up to the hype. Right, because we were seeing his videos in high school of him dunking on people. But then it's like high school, right? Like that guy's a nerd. Like that doesn't mean anything to him. How's it going to translate? Was it all just hype him and going to Georgetown? Well, man, he has been for real. And when I see this kind of explosiveness, it reminds me of Stephon Marbury, the way he kind of cuffs that ball and he attacks that rim. Okay, Stephon Marbury from Brooklyn. I see that comparison there. I like to say that he's a little Steve Francis in some ways, right? With that explosion, how he's quick, especially on this move here. Again, he baits the defender, right? Has the big come out, shows a little crossover, and the hesitation right there, an explosion to the rim, reminds me of Steve Franchise so much. Yeah, what they do a lot, Chris Beard, they just throw him the ball. So I got to get out the eyes emoji here because they just throw him the ball and they're like, all right, kid, like go make a play. And I'll tell you this right now, that's a big time shot. And when everybody knows that you're getting the ball with seven on the shot clock and it's you versus everybody, that's a hard way to score. Yeah, that's Chris Beard just telling Matt McClellan to get in your bag. And Matt said, okay, cool. I have the green light. I'm going to put Jericho Sims in a tough situation to try and defend me. But this here, this play here is probably one of the easiest shots that he's going to get because you have a defender on his heels already. He just stops on a dime and pulls up. Now, that may look difficult for people on the outside, but for McClung, he's like, oh, okay, well, I got this space. I know that I can elevate and rise over this guy for the jumper, and he does that. So, again, with him exploding with that dribble and bringing it back, that's so difficult to defend. Yeah, I mean, obviously the pull-up jumper had been made famous by MJ, and then Kobe took it to another level as far as getting to his spot, but McClung has this – certain explosiveness to his game and he could shoot the rock he could create off the bounce i love his change of pace someone who was great with change of pace was jeremy lynn right he knew when to go fast when to pull back and mcclung kind of has that awareness to his game but he is a, no doubt about it he's got that killer mentality and just like jeremy lynn he's not afraid of the moment and this was a huge moment for him tie ball game again chris beer gives him the ball and that's all butter right there in his bag and Courtney Courtney Ramey has no chance on this situation he's like okay well I'm gonna try and do my best and McClung's like you're a dead fish in the water and pulls up and buries that jumper yeah I mean that that has like what Lynn did on Kobe Bryant right I mean that was one of those games that we watched when 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 Jeremy took Kobe to school that was almost like what am I watching right now and he really captivated the NBA world Jeremy Lynn and I think Matt McClung has that ability in March, to put Texas Tech on his shoulders, make big shots, and then they start digging up the YouTube. And then they talk about his journey from Georgetown to Texas Tech. But Texas Tech has a guy that you can just throw the ball to out on the perimeter, and you know he can get his own shot, and you know he can make big shots. So Texas Tech, in my eyes, a real threat to go to another Final Four for Chris Beard.